In Creole Parametric 11.0, you now have full support for multi-body modeling with sheet metal. In this video, we will take a look at designing in context and then creating a part from a body. So here is a model I was working on in the previous video. I started out with a solid body and I used it as the master model to create three other bodies in the part. Now let's create a, another sheet metal body. I will go to new body and I will accept the default name. Let's click the okay button. And for creating my different walls, it will help if I reduce some screen clutter. Let me select my other three sheet metal bodies and hide them. So now I will start out by creating my first wall in the new part. In the other videos, I use the offset command Hey, let's create a planar wall for this one. And let's define our sketch. I will query select to the bottom surface of the model. Let's hit the sketch button. And then I will just project those different edges. I will click on the project command. And then let's select an edge. I will hold down the shift key so I can get the surface loop. This looks good. I will hit the check mark here. And then I can right mouse click and hold to get my check mark to exit sketch mode. Let's flip the direction of the feature. I can zoom in to verify that it is going in the correct direction. The thickness is grayed out because this is linked to my model. So it is using the thickness of my part, not the body itself. And then I can hit the check mark to complete the first wall. That's good. Now let's create a couple secondary walls. I will create a flat wall and then select my attachment edge. You can see a preview of the shape that will be generated, but I want this driven by the master model. So let me go to the shape tab and then sketch. And then I can use a coincident constraint to lock this into an edge just to make it easier to pick. I will use my selection filter so I can get right to the edge of my divide surface. Let's get rid of the dimension for the wall length. This all looks good. Once again, I can right mouse click in order to complete the sketch. I can make any other adjustments like changing the thickness of the bend. And then I will middle mouse button to complete that wall. So you can see how we are working in the context we are designing in the context of our main model. Let's just do one more wall and I'll use the same approach. Let's do a flat wall. I'll do it on this edge over here. Let me go to the shape tab and then sketch and put in a coincident constraint to lock it to this edge. Ah, this time I'll just tap until I get it. There we go. Delete the dimension. Hit the check mark, change the bend thickness to what I want, hit the check mark. And so there we have it. We have a few different features in our new sheet metal part that were created in the context of our main master model. All right, before I extract my parts, let me clean up a little bit. Let me hide some of the stuff so it doesn't get brought over into my inherited part. I'm just gonna hide some of those different features. I could also use layers later on, but just easier to hide them to begin with. And so let's take a look at extracting our different bodies. First off, I don't need body number one anymore. Uh, so if I go to extract a solid body, well, I could right click on body one and choose create part from body. And this is the dialog box that you get. You can enter in a file name and your common name and use the default template or not. So very straightforward, not too many choices here. Let's cancel out of that. But let's take a look if we were going to use one of our sheet metal bodies. And let me just hide this for a second. It was bothering me. So here we have our new body that we created. I will right click on it in the design items folder, create part from body. We have a different dialog box. For extracting a sheet metal body, 
In addition to the standard copy geometry method, which you are used to from Creo Parametric 7, 8, 9, and 10, you have an inheritance option where it will inherit everything from the model that you are copying from. Let's do that. And for the file name, let me call this my sheet metal base. And then let's click the OK button. And so here you can see that geometry brought into my new window. Let's take a look at the model tree. Here we have our external inheritance feature and you can select it and then choose edit definition from the mini toolbar. And these are all the same options that you have from a regular inheritance feature. If you go to the options tab, here you have the varied items button that allows you to bring open your window of the model. You can see that it is inheriting everything from my default template. You can actually go to some of the choices like symbols and not copy the symbols over. I was previously using a symbol as a title block. You can even do that for the notes. We can turn off notes that we want to copy. And like other inheritance features, you can modify dimensions from the source model. Let's click the OK button out of there and hit the check mark. So there you can see the update. At the bottom of the tree, we have a remove body feature. So with the inheritance, it's actually going to bring in all the bodies from our source model and remove everything except the body that we chose to extract. But here is another change in Creo Parametric 11.0. I will show this in a different video. There is an option when you remove body to either remove the selected bodies or not selected. And so what this does is it just selects that one new body as the body to keep and removes all the other bodies that were created in the original source model. So let's hit the check mark out of there. Couple other things to note. Let's expand our design items folder and then our bodies folder. And here you can see the feature that ended up bringing this in, the external inheritance. And here's the body itself. I am going to right click on this body and then go to parameters. Here we have the parameters in this particular body. Let me grab the dialog box and make it a little bit wider and make the first column wider as well. The body is going to copy all of these different parameters over from the model itself. They're driven by the inheritance feature. Let me cancel out of here. And one other thing that I forgot to mention, let's take a look at the preferences for this sheet metal part. Let me go to file and then prepare model properties. And here we have the preferences. Let's click on the change button. And here you can see that there are a bunch of different derived bodies in this case over here, but body six, you can see from highlighting in the background is the one that is actually in this part. And you can see that we have our different values in here that are listed. If we go to some of the other different bodies, well, it's going to list the different properties of some of the bodies that were in the original model. But again, these different bodies were removed by the remove body feature. So that's what you have for the various different sheet metal preferences that are in your extracted part model. So there you have it. That is how you can design in context using full multi-body functionality with sheet metal, as well as extracting sheet metal bodies in Creo Parametric 11.0.